Hi, my name is Cameron McIntosh. I'm an ENT surgeon and a board certified facial plastic surgeon. The septum is right in the middle of the nose. It separates the left and the right side of the nose. And in terms of the septum, surgically to correct it, there are two major things we do. Either the septum itself is completely bent and we have to straighten that, or even though the septum is straight, it has this bony spur that may be sticking out which we have to shave off. Depending on what is wrong, there are various ways of being able to fix this surgically. If it is only a septal spur, it's generally a much shorter operation. However, if the septum is completely bent, depending on the severity of that, we could either approach that within the nose and fix, make all the cuts and the sutures, etc. inside the nose, or we might have to do a formal septorhinoplasty in that the nose needs to be completely opened, the septum needs to be completely straightened, and it's a far bigger operation than just having a septoplasty in itself. So why do people have septoplasties? There are two reasons for that. There's a functional and a cosmetic reason. You can imagine if the septum's completely bent, one nostril may be completely obstructed, and as such, the nose is skewed. So if you can straighten the septum, you're going to improve the patient's function, but you're also gonna improve the patient's cosmesis at the same time. Generally, a septoplasty is a one-day procedure, so you will come in and go home on the same day. You should have very little pain after the surgery. In fact, if you do have pain, it's definitely something that you need to attend to and come back to the practice and see me about. One of the other surprises patients find is that they are not swollen after septoplasty. Your, your face should not be bruised, because if you're purely operating on the septum, you're operating on the inside of the nose only. In terms of recovery, anything between two and three days, and you'll be back to normal. However, if it was a formal open septorhinoplasty, that may take up to two weeks for you to recover completely. So in terms of possible complications, you, you're obviously gonna be under a general anesthesia, but from a surgical perspective, the two things we're most concerned about is excessive bleeding or infection in the septum. As a general rule of thumb, we do not put you on antibiotics. However, if there is an infective reason for us to do that, we will not hesitate to put you on antibiotics.